wonders, wondrous works about how good God really is. Glory ye in his holy name. Glory in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Everybody say, seek the Lord. Seek the Lord. Because you've been appointed and you've been anointed. You've been appointed, you've been appointed, you've been appointed, been appointed, and, you've been anointed, and you've been anointed. That means you got an assignment. Yes. Ain't that right? Yes. Seek the Lord and his strength. Yes. Not only when you seek God out, but seek his strength. That's right. And while you seek his strength, seek his face forevermore. Amen. The words that seek ye the Lord while he can be found. Yes. That tells me one day God will hide. Yes. Come on, somebody. Every 
generation is 52 years. Did you know that? Every 52.2 years is a new generation. Some say 121. 21 ain't no new generation. You and your mom is in the same generation, but you and your grandma is not. I repeat, you are not in the same generation. You know why you know? Because you are going through with your children. And it's not until you see your grandchildren do you forget or you forgot how you was raising your children. Then you go back and try to remember how you were raising your own. Because it's a different generation. That's true. Because I remember, I remember the music my mama didn't listen to. But I don't know what kind of music my grandma and them listened to. Then she was a holy woman, but in their day, I don't know what they were listening to. Ink spots, I don't know who was back in the day. <laughs> but my daddy, he used to listen to uh, Boosie Collins and the Rock Band Man. Verse 9 says, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac, and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law, and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. God said, I made a covenant with my people. That's my covenant that I'm going to have for a thousand generations. I made a covenant with Abraham that I'm going to bless him like the sea among the seashore. He'll be numbered like the stars of the heaven and all the galaxy. And his sons and daughters will come out of his nerves. God said, I made a covenant. And if I don't fulfill my covenant, Abraham, you can do to me what I command you to do to these animals. What you just cut them in half and walk in their blood. As I assure his God is about his covenant and his oath. He says, saying unto thee, will I give a land of Canaan and a lot for your inheritance. He promised them that land, didn't he? Yeah. I don't care who's saying they claim it and belong to them. God promised to Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. And they, when they were but a few men in them, when they were but a few of them, yea, God said a very few, and a stranger in it, when they went from one nation to another, from one place to a kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Ain't that a blessing? Amen. You've been anointed, you've been appointed and anointed. There was someone trying to do you wrong. Amen. They can't touch you. Amen. 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 Somebody said, I've been anointed. I've been appointed. And I've been appointed. I've been appointed. Look at them again and say, I've been appointed. I've been appointed. And I've been anointed. And I've been anointed. Hey. Verse 15, now, I'm going to ask saying, touch not my anointing. Ain't that what he said? Amen. 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 Now, I didn't write, see, David is quoting a, a prophet of old. In other words, when David read about uh, his experience with Saul, he recognized that though Saul was wrong, and though I had an opportunity to kill him dead, I remember the covenant yeah. of God. Yeah. And the covenant of God said, touch. Don't even put your hand on him. Be careful how you roll your eyes. Be careful how you suck your teeth. Be careful how you act by it. Be careful how you run by it. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you speak. When you touch it with my anointing. Look at somebody and say, I'm anointed. I'm anointed. Because I've been anointed. 